Hey guys, welcome back. This is Ashwini and we are learning microservices with real-time project. Till now we have completed a couple of things and you haven't watched it. Just go to my channel and found this playlist and all the videos under it. So let's back the video on today's topic. In previous video, there's might be something uh, went wrong. So let me just give me the uh, two minute. I will recap whatever we have done in a previous video. If you, have to, if you don't want to watch the recap or uh, something like that, then I will mention the timestamp in the description you can directly jump into that okay so in previous video what we have done first thing we have uh, done the exception handling for exception handling we are creating uh, these three things for global exception handler okay to handle the, all the exception agar in the controller layer and this is a custom class which we have been using to throw in an error and this is a error detail which we are passing to our client because i want to be generated some uh, readable and good message and nothing for that in uh, services i uh, just returning a person object in controller i have converted with the object into the response entity and this is a body and this is a request type this is only i have done and this we have explained in our previous video if you want this code facing any difficulty while implementing it just let me know i will attach this code in a description yeah so that's all for uh, recap let me uh, tell the agenda of this particular video we gonna do uh, i want to make uh, another microservice that is microservice second which we have discussed already in first video okay when we are discussing about the project and uh, after making that product, uh, microservice microservice second i want to consume this one microservice okay so that will be also a rest microservice and we will try to consume it and uh, yeah let's see what we are following that so just go to the file and new project and spring boot uh, starter so i will say spring starter next and it will go to the io now what will be the project name that is uh, i will put here two and two okay now everything i keep remain same instead of changing this name uh, i will change this name okay now i don't want to change in a uh, package or something okay or uh, yeah everything looks fine i will go to the next i want to add a web dependency uh, where it is web uh, I think we will need this one only a uh, web dependency nothing uh, much we have needed here or uh, if we need something else we will add later so just finish so just give the some time to build it and building you can start working so just come here it will give you skeleton and just okay so let me yeah uh, it is building and sending class after they are downloading a java docs or something and it will done okay yeah come here and you have this one now i want to take uh, make my service and controller to consume that and one more thing i need a rest template object which we have discussed already in previous videos like we are uh, gonna communicate with the rest template okay so i need a mapper also that is object mapper so do not worry about anything okay we will uh, see uh, one by one what we gonna do so that is i want to make one uh, package that is uh, controller and inside the controller i will say uh, person controller not come moral <laughs> it is controller and just declare it as a rest controller so it will take care of all the things let me annotate it at first now for rest controller i want to uh one another package inside data service because we are following a good practice so let class service or person service you can do anything I will say person service okay now if you want to make any operations which is related to the like uh, business operations DB or something you can say like service and if you want to make a synchronous or any following asset property or you are directly communicating to the DB you can put it the transaction also but I will not put a transaction here because uh, in my case we are just dealing with the uh, consuming uh, the response okay yeah so now the next step is i need one configuration file to be uh, like uh, to declare my rest template okay so i need us i will do one thing i will say config 
I know I'm just doing little bit fast because if I will not do any little fast, this will take a huge time, okay? And we're gonna not complete this project. And again, you guys say, okay, uh, complete the project like, uh, okay? So I don't want to be uh, leave in a between because we have a couple of things to do like JUnit, Swagger, OAuth, lot of things, okay? So that is uh, person config. So guys, increase your speed with me. So nothing problem with that. If you stuck anywhere, just let me know. I will help you. Okay, you can message me on a Telegram group, and please do not message me individually. <laughs> yeah, like I'm getting a couple of messages, and I can't reply. Like uh, if you message in a group, right? Then uh, like we are like in a family, right? We have a uh, 30, 35 people right now. So other people should also learn from you, right? So the motive is that I don't want to be like if you want to talk to me one point. Okay, then why will create a group, right? Yeah. So now what I want to do here, public. Uh, rest template and uh, get rest object or rest template whatever you want to say uh, I will say create rest object not rest template I will say create rest object And I will say to it return new rest template okay so what happened now it will create a uh, uh, this method will create an object of rest template right but uh, till now the object will not available in a class for then spring framework is not able to uh, like uh, uh, identify like it is available in their class path or not so what I want to do here just allotted it this as uh, bean okay so now spring framework get to know okay yeah but you are using this i will take care now one more thing i need uh, that is uh, public and object mapper okay let me add the dependencies for object mapper so because it's not by default available uh, not object mapper okay you show me the tutorial afterward uh, dependence maven <coughs> Yeah, this faster XML I need to be downloaded. So I will uh, take anything from here. Okay, so yeah. And where is my form.xml? Form.xml here. Okay, now put your dependencies under the dependency section. Okay, and after putting, just save it and control O. Control shift F so it will automatically indent the If it is to error, just delete it because it uh, make an impact because Spring Framework is smart enough to uh, manage the your versions. Okay. Now why it's showing an error? Just let me know. Uh, dependency dependency test uh, the context. Let me update the project. Then also the error is coming. Then we will do something and we will check like why it is coming. So what I need to do now, why it's the error is coming, so let me what happened to you? Okay. Uh, let me close this. Sometime it become duffer to not increase. Yeah, now it's fine. <laughs> yeah, okay. So now what we want to do is just I want an object mapper that is object mapper okay and create object mapper return new object mapper object okay so it will return this also i need to annotate it as bean so now perfect now what i want to do as you can see my microservice one is running right and I want to hit on particular uh, endpoint. So for hitting a particular endpoint, I need to go in my services. Mm, yeah. And inside here, I want to take one method that is public. Okay. And it will give me the customer data. So you will say uh, person or customer, whatever you want to say. Here, what we have taken, person only we have taken, right? 
so before taking a data i need two more things also okay i will not directly uh, jump into the services just, just let me go one by one so first let me do something in controller okay you have this like uh, you are not getting understanding that's why so response entity for making a response entity also i need the object of my person so directly go here okay and we have this entity here okay so i don't want entity here i want my dto's okay so just create a simple package and say dto and uh, inside a dto okay directly create a package and we will copy all these things from there okay so i will say package and that is dto finish okay now what i want to do here uh, create copy this person and we copy and paste it here dto 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 yeah okay now copy this one also order might be we need in our future so where is my dto's i know it's showing error just give me a second let me know so control shift oh i don't want all these uh, imports and all okay 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 yeah what do you need to do now just uh, delete all these things i know I don't want to be annotated in my class with column table because I need just a DTO okay and I don't want anything so yeah uh, and this control D control D where it is you are having a column control D okay and control D control D I don't want anything nice your DTO is done error is gone as same you need to do with orders okay so just remove these i'm just saving a time guys okay otherwise uh, it will take a time to be uh, like uh, write all these uh, dto's right so what i need to do now just do control d and uh, with all yeah solved then we are done with the dto's now what i need to do just go to the controller and here I want one method that will return me in the response entity uh, why it's coming that is the response entity of person got it we have do the same thing in our uh, not person controller microservice one right and it will uh, say never coded a, a method with the get or something okay because it's not a good programming practice so we will say person record on the basis of person id okay now here what do you want to do i want to call my services this is my service so in service i need to declare one method which will uh, sorry implemented one method that is uh, directly i will not use interface here either uh, use interface that is also good programming practice yeah that is a good programming practice we are following here directly included in a method in a service okay so yeah okay so that is a person and i from here i will say person data or record whatever it is let me check id or i will say here also i will put a name that is a same person id okay and it will return for now none so i don't want to be through one uh, like it will show me again and again the red mark so that's why i will say here so i want this class object so just a spring framework will help me to do all things i will say okay person okay not suggesting any name i need to write okay good do one thing now auto add it perfect and it's showing error so control shift o okay now what do you want to do take this call person data your 
of work is done from the controller okay we will do lot more things in detail so do not worry about it add a return statement okay and add a return statement uh, what i have done this so just cut it and instead of doing these all things do it okay 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 i got it i got it i got it assign into the uh, local variable and we need a response entity yeah what we are doing right <laughs> response entity person response entity or if you don't want to be use this let me show you this is also work okay because at runtime time we don't want to make a generic like if you know the uh, that rules of generic okay if you have idea so this new or i will say http status dot okay dot it's simple now whatever you want to make operations or business operations just do it here right so now i will do it i want to hit on particular uh, microservices so what i will do first i will create a url because like uh, other like if you find uh, lots of videos on a uh, youtube right but people are doing and even i have also doing in my video i'm not pointing out someone okay i have taken the url here in couple of videos and mostly people are take because it is easy to illustrate right it is easy to make people understand but as we had promised we are not follow that uh, practice here okay because uh, we are following all real time practice so it's not good to mention a url like this okay something like this like st string or url like http i will say like after that like local host after that 8080 but my number is not on sorry <laughs> so that is 8080 and after that what are the person data like this i don't need to be done okay so this is not good program practice so what i need to do here uh, i want to be what's blinking uh, numbering okay shit. yeah so now what i want to do i need to be declare all these properties in my resource so i will say application dot property okay and sources now what do you need to do i want to be declare that url which i want to hit which one i want to hit that microservices as you can see where my microservice is running let me open the postman we have uh, used there right so while it is opening let me uh, declare the name here so i will say that is uh, or api dot person by id and here what you want to do i need to give a url okay so what is the url you want to give or is that get lost yeah <laughs> okay so this one i want to give just give it here and instead of person id you are taking id right you are taking a person id so you need to pass that id here so i will say okay let person and whatever the id you are passing we will do it later so now uh, yeah till here i will take or if i need to be make any changes i will make okay nothing any fix because we are following a real time and any error will come and you guys noticing from uh, day one the first video i am not adding any error part okay so because i want to be to you learn with me now uh, the communication part right we will use rest template and object mapper and all thing so this is all about this video i will catch you in the next video most probably i will push that video today only uh, yeah and yeah i have an one request please do comment because i don't want to say you again and again and i don't want to bother you again and again about this okay if you want to watch it last i wanted to say if you like this just do comment or share or subscribe if you don't want to that's your wish <laughs> okay i will see you in the next video till then bye bye see you take care